Hello there, I'm playing Eldritch today. It's uh, another one of these first person pixel dungeon. <laughs> Look at this punch animation. It's great. Uh, yeah, so this one is another one that I kind of like. Uh, we're starting off in a library about three inches off the floor. <laughs> Video games, why do you do this? I'm shorter than this potted plant. What's going on? Uh, okay, this is a bank, I think. Yeah, you can store money in this between characters, so it's not 100% permadeath. Oh, I could have used that. Oh, that crashes the game. Oh, nope, it just froze for a second. I don't know what this is. I just uh, went around clicking on things. And now I'm out of my comfort zone. Oh dear. But yeah, this game is extremely creepy. I'll give it credit for that. Because uh, not many games... Oh my word! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, not many games manage to uh, creep me out. This one definitely does. Alright, so um, <laughs> you die very quickly. Uh, so the proper game is... We examine these strange books with their little pixely, sparkly things on them. This is the first one uh, that starts open. And if you finish that dungeon, then this one opens. So I've already finished that one. And I presume once you do that one, this one opens as well. And there's the final one over there, which started opening. I think that's like the way out. I don't know, it's a bit weird. I'll try and go through it. Uh, so yeah, you come into one of these books and you explore these places. I've just picked up a compass which shows me the exit is down there. And I found a gun, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, I mean, what is that? Uh, it's so creepy. But yeah, there are all these kind of eldritch creatures. The clue is in the title. Uh, you can eat meat to regain health. Of course. Of course there is the floor food. There always is. Uh, these artifact things are basically currency. And you gotta search every little nook and cranny. Sadly, you're restricted to two weapons. I don't... I don't like that. I think... Games are more fun when you uh, have a lot of choice, so I think it would be nice if you had more than two weapons. So you can get up there. There's a key up there. Uh, the keys are all skeleton keys, so we um, <laughs> can just jump. And how about F? There we go. Uh, so every key opens every door. It's a bit weird. Uh, there's a locked door back here. Might not be worth opening, but then sometimes it is. A pile of monies. Baked meat. Mmm. Some dynamite. I... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of dangerous, but... <laughs> oh, hello. I threw my gun at him. That's... Yeah, when you run out of bullets, you just throw the gun. It's pretty nice. Uh, alright, let's just uh, speed run it. It's probably the best idea with this game. I found a pub. Interesting. Uh, there is fall damage, so I have to be careful. Alright, there's the exit. Speed run! Okay. Uh, yeah, this first one was kind of easy when it gives you the compass. Because it's like, I know where I have to go. Um, let's see. Nope. nope, nothing in there. Oh, hello. I didn't see you up there. Uh, so the door into this next room is locked, but I can just throw dynamite in there and... Oh, shit. Let's see out there. Oh, it gave me a key. And in here is more bullets. Uh, sadly, there's no beer in these bottles, but... Oh shit. Ah, uh, let me shoot. I don't think that was even hostile. I feel bad now. Ah, uh, yes, so, ow. Okay, I didn't get hurt there, that's good. 
Right, let's try and find the way out. Go back to speed running. That's a plant. Sometimes those have fruits on them, which uh, heal you. But yeah, I do like I do really like this game for its sort of creepy atmosphere. Like this um this part of the game is a bit cutesy, this dungeon. Uh the asylum on the other hand is extremely creepy. Oh shit. Alright, didn't see that coming. But yeah, it's made me genuinely jump on several occasions. And I'm, I'm not really that prone to jump scares. I know they're like really kind of universal. That's why games use them. But I always just see them coming. I don't know. Look at these eyes. Well, they're not. They're not mad at me. Oh. Like, I guess now he is, though. <laughs> He's like, Bruh, you stepped on my tentacles. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Uh, I still got three bullets. That's good. I only got one health, though. Ugh. Alright. The exit is down here. Don't know what killed them. Not gonna stick around to find out. I don't think it was me, though. Okay, spider webs. Not nice. Uh, but I think we're right there, but it looks like it's not going to be that easy. Oh, I didn't want to open the closed door and waste my keys. There's a key out there. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, one hit and I'm dead, really. Uh, oh, spikes. What is that? Oh god, oh this thing is just gonna destroy me. Oh silly. I think this is like the the boss of this particular dungeon. Oh I can't go through that. <laughs> god damn it. So, uh, that's a dry fountain. I have no weapons. And there's stuff everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Rip! Alright, let's take a look at a different area. Okay, so this one over here uh, is kind of set away from the other books, and you lose your progress if you go in here, but this is called the Asylum. Uh, it seriously creeps me out. Uh, <laughs> let's go have a look in here. Uh, yeah, so I've never actually gone out of here, but it, like, it doesn't seem like there's um, an exit of any sort. Or a hatchet. A tripwire gun, which fires bullets somehow. Ah, oh, see, look at these things. They're so creepy. <laughs> these dudes are all over the doorway, though. But yeah, they don't stay dead. Like he's gonna get back up again in a minute. Oh shit! Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> Didn't last long in there. Yeah, so that's the asylum. It's creepy as shit. I don't like it in there. I don't really know what the point of it is, because, like it says, you lose your progress, so... Uh, this... <laughs> yep. Game of the year. You can turn the lamps on and off. Wonderful. So this is the last area that I have unlocked. There's a plane. And it says you can't take off without the keys, so... I don't know, it seems to me like this is possibly... Like the end game? I don't know what a soapstone is. Um, but yeah, this is like a frozen level. Ooh, frame skips. Thanks for that. Huh? What was that? Ah, yeah, there's these, um, stalactite things that instantly kill you. So, you gotta watch out for that. But yeah, let's uh, let's go back in there and have a look at some of the enemies. Wow, you move really fast when you jump. That's cool. I appreciate that. So, I don't know, I haven't completed the game. It's quite tough. Uh, only having three health is kind of part of the difficulty, I think. Would be nice if you had a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, it feels like this is the end game. Alright, all I have is dynamite. Wonderful. Let's see if I can find some penguins. Should be some penguins around here. 
Gotta watch out for the big spiky ice things falling through my skull. Oh dear. I'm just gonna run away from that. I'm not blowing it up. Oh, careful. Uh, oh, there's a penguin. Oh, hello, Mr. Penguin. It's not a cute little penguin. It's a giant I'm going to eat your face penguin. Have some dynamite. Well, I didn't go as planned. Let's punch it. Fisticuffs. How about you, sir? He had a couple of blue things up his butt, so that's nice. Uh, did I take damage there? No, I didn't. That's nice. Yeah, so, no compass. Uh, oh my god, what is that? I think this snow is making me move slow as well. What is that? <laughs> but yeah, I just, I do love the, the design in this game. It's, ah, there's the exit. It's pixely and stuff, but it's quite original, and I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> so yeah, that's Eldritch. It's uh, another one of these kind of games, and uh, I think it's okay. It's one of the first ones, I think. I think it came out a few years ago. So, uh, let's have some meat. Om nom nom nom. Ah, fuck you, bottles. Alright, I'll see you next time.